Hello. So, I don't know if you remember these videos where people used to do their monthly favourites. Now, I did one, like, when I first started my channel, um, like, a monthly favourites of what I've been loving that month. And YouTubers used to do them all the time. So, I don't think anyone's done this yet. They might have done. I'm going to do a lockdown favourites. So, now that we're coming out of lockdown, finally, slowly, and eventually, we will be done. But now that we're starting to come out, I thought I'd look back on the things I've actually been really enjoying during lockdown. Um... Because, to be honest, I have been enjoying having a bit of time to myself. And I've picked up a few new things and I wanted to share them with you. Some of them I've spoken about before in other videos. But I thought I'd just go through every single thing that I've been loving and see you what you've been loving too. So, let's jump straight into it because I've got a lot to get through. Um, I'm really excited to tell you all about it and I hope you enjoy. Please like, subscribe and comment down below your favourite things you've been loving as well. Okay, let's do this. Right, so first I'm going to start off with makeup. Um, things I've been loving are the Natural Collection powders. So I've got this like pressed powder. Um, it's matte and it's in the shade Natural. Um, just for going over concealer and just for powdering my face. It's really good. Natural Collection is so cheap. If you don't know what it is, it's from Boots. Is it Boots or Tasco? No, it's Boots, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and literally amazing. I'm not sure how wide the shade range is in powders, but I'm loving this. Um yeah it works really well my makeup routine i don't wear foundation anymore um so it works nice with my um collection concealer and bronzer and everything just goes in really nicely the other thing from natural collection is this pressed powder blusher in the shade peach melba and you can't actually see it very well but it does like show up and you can see it a bit on my nose i'm loving that like sunburnt nose look at the moment i think loads of people are and i just absolutely i'm living for it so i'm just loving it these are maybelline mascaras now I have got my one fave, which is the big Colossal. Uh, the Colossal Go Extreme in leather black. That one is my ultimate fave, but I'm just sort of running out. But I went in and saw these two, which were on two for £12. I think they still are. Got them from Tesco. So the one I've got on today is Total Temptation by Maybelline. If you can see that, pretty good. I've got quite long lashes. They're just not very curly. So I always like to get ones that curl them up rather than just out. This one works pretty well. It's quite a big brush. And the other one, I haven't used as much, but I have been using it for my bottom lashes because it's quite a skinny brush, is the Lash Sensational Lash Lash <laughs> Lash Multiplying Mascara. This lipstick, I never ever wear lipstick, but I usually dab a little bit of this on if I'm going out the house or going to work just to make it look like I've got a bit more makeup on when I haven't. So it's the, don't know whether you say NYX or NYX, but it's the NYX Lip Lingerie um, in the shade seduction number 17 i think and it's just like this orangey um satin like nude color and i think it really looks nice with my bronzer and just my skin tone and i really enjoy that and i don't actually swipe it on because i don't like a thick like dry lip but because this isn't actually a matte lip even though it does look quite matte it's satin so your lips can still move it's not sticky it's really nice it just like feels like your lips and i don't swipe it on like i said i literally put it on and then dab it with my finger um just to make it look a bit more clean and not precise because i don't like that i never use lip liners because i don't like that look on me at all okay right next going on to skincare i've been loving doing skincare routines at the moment because i've got the time to do it even if i wake up at 12 i do a little bit of a routine and even when i go to bed at like 3am i do a little bit of a routine next thing i've been loving is this nivea daily essentials gentle exfoliating scrub i absolutely love a face scrub and i think they're really good for your skin especially for blackheads which i get quite bad sometimes around my nose and i usually get breakouts on my chin um and it just really helps like i literally always have a spot on my chin i just can't get rid of it but this does help with blackheads um and just smoothness so your makeup goes on smooth and you always just look kind of more flawless than usual i don't use it every day even though it says daily i don't um i usually just use it in the shower because the little bits can be annoying because they literally get in your hair and when you're just washing your face in the sink you can't really wash it out but when you're in the shower obviously you can get everything wet and it's great so yeah, I definitely recommend using this at least three times a week. I usually use it three, two or three times. Um, sometimes if I've been wearing makeup and I feel like sweaty or after a workout or whatever, then I'll use this in the night as well. Um, and yeah, definitely recommend. So lip balm, I love lip balm. And um, my favourite this like whole year has been Carmex. Now well, there was a lot of like um, controversy with this because apparently there's something in it that makes it addictive and actually makes your lips worse if you use it too much. 
but I don't use it all the time. The one I use in work is a Nivea, just like plain roll on lip balm, because obviously I don't want to take a dippy finger one into work because of COVID. So I've got like a stick one for work. Um, but because I work in a supermarket and it's so air conditioned because of the fridges and the freezers, I do get really dry skin and lips. Um, so a good lip balm is essential really. Um, I don't know if that's just me, but yeah, I really do. And this Carmex one, I always just put a bit on before bed. And actually, this might sound really strange, but I actually put some on my eyelashes before bed, especially if I've been wearing mascara that day. Apparently, the peppermint in it really gives your eyelashes hydration. And after scrubbing mascara off, they need it. So anything to help. Don't hold me to that. And if you have an allergic reaction, don't come at me because... I just tried it and I haven't got sensitive eyes and it's been working for me, making them soft and luxurious for the next morning. But please don't try it if you have sensitive eyes and then like go blind from it because I would literally like die. <laughs> face masks. Oh, I love face masks. I literally love them. And I'm going to be really crazy here and tell you that I love the Seventh Heaven ones. These are literally like I've my first ever face mask when I was probably about eight was the Seventh Heaven face mask. But these are actually really good. They haven't got much in them. And even though they're cheap and they come in packets and they look cheap and they're like sold in Poundland and Home Bargains, they're really good. Um, especially the peel-off ones. The clay ones as well, but I just prefer a peel-off because they're just more satisfying to take off and I feel like they're actually doing something. But yeah, I never break out from these. Um, it's been more often than not where I break out from the more expensive face masks, actually. I think they're on like three for a pound or three for 120 in Home Bargains at the moment, so get your hands on them. Staying in that region foot masks now i recently done a couple like just before uni i did a foot peel which i probably told you about which is really rank when you think of it but honestly the aftermath of it amazing if you you're one to, who's prone to like dry and um hard skin on the bottom of your feet which i used to be these are really really good i haven't got one with me now but the one from home bargains again is an 89p you leave it on for 90 minutes and then for the following like four weeks you have peeling feet and then by the end of that you've got baby brand new feet they are literally stunning after like i don't love my feet but when i've just had the peel and it's all done amazing but if you don't want to do that there are these foot packs i've got this one revitalizing coconut water deep moisturizing foot pack um, all of these are from Home Bargains, by the way, for like 99p. And this one is just a deep, mo deep moisturising foot pack with argan oil. Argan oil is good for everything, which I'll talk about in a minute. I use it for my hair, I use it for my skin, I use it for my feet. Like, it's amazing. And if you want just softer feet, foot packs are the way to go. As you know, I've got purpley, ready, whatever this colour is, Z <laughs> hair at the moment. Um, I have spoken about this, I'm not going to go into detail. Um, it's the Raspberry Revel, Rebel, Swat Scott um live what's it called <laughs> semi permanent hair dye so it's just this one um it costs about four pound fifty a box um i've actually been bulk buying because they do i do need my roots top topping up quite often as you can see they're quite brown now um i'm actually going to go over the ends as well this time but yeah this is the one i'm using at the moment if you're interested next i'm just going to talk about this little piece so this is my new um custom loft the label jumper so loft the label is a brand by a girl i'm friends with called beth um she's just recently started her own clothing business and i wanted to support her and as well the clothes are really sick tie-dye is so in at the moment and i think she's absolutely nailed it with all of her designs and i love the sweatshirt and this sizing as well is just perfectly oversized and it's really nice i'm loving it um, I'll link her um, Instagram in the description because, you know, it got to support small businesses at the moment, definitely. And going on to that later, I've got a little venture that I've started too. But next thing, clothing wise, I've been loving bralettes. Um, so this might be a bit weird, but I just want to tell you my favourite bralette bralettes I've been loving. They're actually, two of them are from Victoria's Secret. Um, I got them in the annual sale, semi-annual sale. So this little one got a really cute back and it says love pink it's from the actual pink um brand not the victoria's secret brand um really comfy quite supportive and looks really nice under like any top like even if you're wearing a top with straps without straps if you can see it it's like a nice little detail as well and it's just this plain black one it says victoria's secret on the straps and on the bottom and i've got it in gray and white 
um, horizontal stripes as well. This one's more supportive. It's obviously like that stretchy, comfy material, keeps the boobs in and it's good for working out as well as just around the house. And again, the straps are cute, so I don't mind them showing. And this last one I've been loving wearing is slightly cheaper because <laughs> it's from Primark. Just this burgundy lace little bralette. It's not got any padding or anything. It's really comfy, um, pretty back. And I just think it's really pretty and I'm liking them more and more and I'm definitely gonna buy some more after this. Um, yeah, this one was probably like three or four quid. The other ones were probably maybe 15 or 20, but yeah, I don't mind splashing out if they're comfy, you know what I mean? Right, next part is probably the biggest part of lockdown for me, hobbies. I have tried a lot of different hobbies and these are the ones I've loved. I'm not gonna talk about the ones I didn't love because what's the point? Like, that's just a waste of time. So, firstly, I've started reading a book. It is the Sally Rooney, that's her name, Sally Rooney Normal People. Um, I watched the series first, absolutely loved it. And because I'd watched the series, I know loads of people that read it and I knew I'd love the book. And honestly, I'm really enjoying it. I'm on page 107 um, in a f probably about a week. I read a bit before bed every night. Um, I think reading before bed just really calms me down and sort of like a meditation for me and I just like to relax my mind rather than going on my phone. Reading a bit of this is really nice and I definitely recommend if you don't read usually like me, read this book if you're into stuff like that. I just, I'm just i just absolutely loving it. Next is my little venture. So I've started a little business, it's called Threads by Loose. I'll tag the Instagram and Facebook page in the description and put them along the screen. Um, and I started canvas sewing. You might have seen this in, on TikTok, but I actually got the idea when I actually just literally had a canvas in my room and thought that I could do it um, and gave it a go. And then I saw loads of people doing it on TikTok with the paint and things and I'm absolutely loving it. So I've grabbed a couple that I'm actually selling at the moment. These were like my first ones I designed. Um, so this first one is just like a romantic couple. I did it in pink and blue, my little signature at the bottom, LC um all the prices and everything are linked on my page i won't go through that now because i just bore that's probably boring you um marilyn monroe you obviously know that i love her because she's literally in the background <laughs> um i did a little abstract marilyn monroe one and i painted black um with acrylic paint and then i've got my little signature and then i did white thread black thread and red for her obviously her luscious lips and then another one i've done which is actually my favorite it's from six musical if you don't know what that is what are you doing <laughs> if you like me and you love musicals you'll know what this is and i did a little outline of the six queens and that turned out amazing i did their signature colors and i just think it looks so good and you can really tell what it is and i think from afar that looks amazing and who wouldn't want that on their wall you know and again got my little signature there so yeah if you're interested go have a look at the prices um i can do anything as long as it's like an outline drawing or a like line drawing um even if it's not send me it over and i'll see if i can do it i'll obviously tell you if i can't but it's worth a try i'll insert the ones that i've sold as well i've only sold two but they're just here and yeah i'm really enjoying doing it it's just really therapeutic and fun and again like a source of meditation i think to me and i just really enjoy the satisfaction of it so yeah um that's my new business please support it i've actually just hit 100 followers and I'm really excited to make some more, so yes. Sims 4, I got my new laptop and I've been playing Sims 4. That's all I've got to say, it's really good. There's actually an 80% off sale, so go buy it now before you have to spend 50 quid on it. <laughs> Workouts, so I've been using the Couch to 5K running app. I actually had a massive break, but actually today, me and Harrison, who's my little brother, did a three and a half K run nonstop. So that's an achievement for me because the 5K app, um, it's sort of like interval running at the start and I'm only on week four. Even though my friends watching now have been doing it for literally like three months. I'm only on week four still. But I keep like losing track and then not doing it for two weeks and then going back to where I was rather than going forward because I'll just like not be doing it right. But today me and Harrison did a good three and a half K run, um, which is pretty good. So yeah. Um as well as that, Chloe Ting workouts. Don't know if you've heard of her, you definitely have. She does these amazing workout plans for free on YouTube um and i'm currently doing the hourglass figure um like, like 30 day challenge i think and i'm actually really enjoying it and i'm feeling really good about myself like i'm aching right now in my abs and my like 
sides i did like a hip dip workout and ab workout yesterday and even though i didn't really feel it during the workout that ache the day after is the most satisfying feeling ever okay i also thought i'd tell you my favorite youtubers just quickly so so coney jolie is my all-time favorite family channel james and karis are a welsh couple from cardiff like near me mark ferris i just find him really relatable and funny and i just really enjoy his videos and also my favorite at the moment brad mondo oh my god he's amazing his tiktoks are hilarious as well I just keep coming across his videos on Facebook and then I binge watch him for a solid two hours after that on YouTube. Um, he's just so funny and I absolutely love his wise words about hair. So yeah, definitely recommend. I thought it'd be quite nice to tell you the series I've watched as well. Um, let me know what series you've been watching and maybe we can sort of like exchange. Um, so I watched the Instant Influencer series on YouTube with James Charles. I didn't think I'd love it. I loved it. Series one was amazing. I actually thought it was really good. Even though I'm not a massive fan of James Charles, I do watch some of his videos because he is ama an amazing makeup artist and I just find it amazing. Afterlife season two with Ricky Gervais. Season one was amazing. Season two was just as good and apparently they're making season three. Definitely recommend. It is on Netflix and it's just a real heartbreaking yet heartwarming story and I love it. And there's so many different characters and I love them all and I just really recommend. The Mandalorian, wait, Star Wars. If you didn't know, my family loves Star Wars, right? And The Mandalorian is a series that's just come out and you would have seen Baby Yoda memes everywhere, the child memes everywhere. So, me and my dad, we have one each. Yeah, you know it. <laughs> so this is my little Baby Yoda. I get so excited about this. How? cute is he or she he how cute is he he's a little baby like honestly i absolutely love him and the series was amazing it's on disney plus if you haven't seen it go and watch it now got this from b&m for 30 quid no regret no regret he's gonna sit in his box sit in my room forever okay but if you haven't seen star wars and you knock it do you know those people that like post facebook posts about like um I saw one the other day and it was like, no matter how bored I am, I will never watch Star Wars. Why are you knocking it if you've never seen it? Like, get over yourself. It's an absolute classic. Me and my family watched it, the other, uh, Rogue One, the other day. And oh, when I watch one, I want to binge watch them all, but that would take me years. On Disney Plus, I've just been living. I've been watching all the Wizards of Waverly Place episodes, Hannah Montana, um, Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, Sweet Life on Deck, all of them. That's so Raven, like, all of them. I've just been watching, like every night i got through the whole of wizards waverly place in about a week my boyfriend was probably fed up of me because every time we facetimed in the night i'd probably watch about six episodes of wizards waverly place and i'd be singing the theme tune like yeah <laughs> it's, it was just so good it was my favorite and then my last two are actually bbc one series so the first one is normal people which i've just spoken about um oh amazing like a heart-wrenching story and leaves you on the edge of your seat every time and the ending is satisfying i spoke about it in the last video just go watch it and then read the book okay and then the other one is the a word which is so good it's about a little boy who's got autism and it's just all about like how his family copes with it and how he copes with it and how they learn to cope with it basically and it's got some really good characters in it some really good actors in it and it's just really really nice it actually came out in 2017 i'm pretty sure and me and my dad watched the first series i think this was series three or four maybe and they brought it back this year and it was just as good finally i'm just going to talk about apps on my phone so the first one is police car so the first one is tiktok i don't need to say anything else everyone's been loving tiktok i don't care who you are you're obsessed with tiktok i know you are who isn't like it is basically ruling the world right now it really is the next one is actually um hopefully this isn't tmi but i don't really care it's a period tracking app and it's called eve and i used to work uh use one called flow which i really liked but this one's really good because you can put in your um symptoms every day not just when you're on your period and i really enjoy doing that just tracking and then it tells you like your forecast for the day and it'll say you might feel this today and i just find that really interesting and i recommend if anyone's looking for an app like that pinterest i've been really enjoying because of my new um thread business i've been looking for a lot of line drawing inspiration and they've got loads on there so if you do want to dm me and get one 
Pinterest is the place to look. They've got so much. They've got superhero line drawing, celebrities, bands, musicals, plays, lyrics, anything you want, literally, they've got it on there um, as a line drawing and I absolutely love it. <laughs> For clothing apps, the only one I've been loving is actually Shein. Um, oh my God, I've spent so much money and it's still not here and I'm so excited. Literally such nice clothes and I'm really excited because me and Adam have actually booked um, a little holiday away. Um, I know that sounds crazy, but it's an isolated holiday in um, sort of like mid West Wales. Sort of like mid Wales to like a little, we've got like this little sort of cabin cottage thing with hot tub in the middle of a field. And we're just going there as our summer holiday, <laughs> which I'm excited for. So I thought I'd treat myself to some holiday clothes, even though it's in Wales, not Barcelona or wherever. <laughs> and guys, that is it we got through it i'm really sorry for this long video um and i hope you know you stay till the end because i really appreciate it when you do stay till the end um i really enjoyed telling you all about that i've got quite a dry mouth now sorry that i talk so quick so yeah that's it um please stay safe and healthy guys um we're obviously coming to the end of lockdown now finally slowly um and i'm really excited for when we can eventually all be together again and yeah um please like and comment what you've been loving during lockdown i'd love to hear about it all so just let me know um and yeah subscribe and like and i'll see you very soon thanks guys bye